Today is October 15th, 2023, and um, we are like 16 days away um, from Sip and Speak Social uh, Masquerade Gala events, um, as G would call it, the year of the unmasking. Um, and I guess I'm feeling like today I felt like light, like my spirit is not as heavy as it was um, considering some some pivot changes that we may have. But um, today I felt light, so I'm going to just go with, with today. But the overall, I felt, um, again, like anxiety is always high um, considering just how things are transpiring. And I know that this is a tough year for everybody. Um, and, you know, life is changing. Um, in many facets, um, many ways for not just myself, but other women too. And I know that a lot of things are heavy um, to even deal with. So today I feel light. That's, I guess that's a good feeling. What's your um, spirit been like as far as on um, the last couple of days with um, anxiety? Cause I know today you saying you've been kind of smooth, relaxed, but Spirit-wise, how you been feeling as uh, um, spiritual-wise, how you been feeling? Up and down, like, you know, will I have to cancel the event? Will there be enough tickets that will be sold to make budget? <clears throat> um, nervous. Um, mm. Like, a uneasy feeling. Like, um... A different type of feeling than I felt any other um, sip and speak and I, I I guess I believe because it's this is the biggest one I've ever done <laughs> um, and just kind of scaling it that way but just really like an uneasy feeling because not even halfway to to go and it's like damn Will I have to make this change to kind of like cancel this event? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Um, why you think it's different compared to the other years? Why, why is the um, anxiety so high? Because I, I'm typically, um, I guess I can say like I've sold out so quickly before. Um, and to me, I, I feel like there's a certain need um, in this community, uh, for like healing conversations and more of a, on a larger scale, you know, we can say all day, you know, give us a reason to kind of dress up, you know, as women, we love to get dressed. Um, and I think it's larger than that though. Like, I think it's more so about, you know, the transformation, um, and watching everything unfold. Um, right before my eyes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I feel like it's just a lot happening and a lot festering um, in a pot. And I have to dissect a lot of different changes um, and still keep myself level-headed. Um, so, it, honestly, I'm just, all of this is just faith. <laughs> I It ain't even me doing it. I'm just trying to breathe and have faith so finish this sentence um the pivot is important because mm. the pivot is important because i know that this event is like transformation from like your yourself deep within yourself like deep like so gut-wrenching <laughs> So the pivot is important because there's a transformation that has to happen within yourself that you got to be ready for. And it's only a certain amount of people that's ready. Um, whether that's for myself. Um, and I know that it's bigger than me now. And it ain't just about me. And as I've been saying for this whole entire process, that I know that the gift that I'm sharing unto the world, I just hope that it changed lives. 
You know what I mean? So the pivot is important because it's life changing. <laughs> um, it's a transformation like no other. It's something that you just got to go deep and go get it. Um, and are you ready to do it? All right. Really? What is your main um, motivation that's keeping you going as it get closer, anxiety getting high? Mm -hmm. Like you said, the, um, the pressure of the sales and all of that. Um, the, t tell people about the um, about the venue change, like the reality of that. Um, just really setting in based off of the size amount of women that has um, already purchased tickets and of course uh, our sponsors um, who's a part of this space as well just being able to um, to make this thing more intimate right. um, and I do realize that you know there's a greater thing that's about to happen um, and again, I, I keep saying like, even if I do have to pivot and go into a smaller space within St. Kate, like I'm still not giving up. Like I'm not giving up. Yeah. Um, like I'm still fighting through it. Um, Cause the small things like not having anything to wear even 16 days out, I like, I'm just sitting here like, yeah, okay, whatever. Like it's gonna, it's gonna happen for me. And I know that it's going to work itself out. Like, so that's what's keeping me going, knowing that it's going to work itself out. And even if it doesn't, I can be at peace saying that, like, I gave it my all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, and I'm cool with that. Like, knowing that I keep pushing every single day. Like, I keep branding. I keep putting it out there, telling people, um, sharing it, you know, all in all, I'm still grateful for what has already been a part, like, of what's going on. Like, I'm grateful for even what I have right now. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's not the goal that I want, but I'm grateful for that. You so, know what I'm saying? Like, purpose, I guess, is another mm -hmm. thing that I'm asking, too. Like, um, how do you feel like your purpose changes if this um after this after this event um i don't think that it's more or less about um if my purpose changes i think that it's just a pillar within my purpose yeah um you know i'm a spiritual person um and i just don't believe that um you know if you don't have faith then honestly, you know, I, I ride around with like something that I got from the women's center and it just says like faith as small as a mustard seed and it's a mustard seed actually inside <laughs> of the little tin and it's like that's all I need. You know what I mean? Like if I just keep having faith and keep believing that this is gonna work itself out because that's it's that's what it's gonna do. Like I have no other choice. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I have no other choice but it to let it work itself out. And I, I say, even if it doesn't, it still worked itself out because there's more work to be done. So right. you never are not growing. You're mm -hmm. growing through this whole entire process. Like, yeah, this, this you know, this, make you, exactly. It's like, a uh, chapter within your That's journey. it. It's just a pillar mm -hmm. in my purpose. And I just keep keep building on that yeah. and just keep knowing that again you have something that's greater to happen um like something yeah. that's deep it's something in my spirit that just mm -hmm. keeps festering up and i'm like yeah, yeah. and this is pushing you to, to discover something new yes you're gonna discover yes. something new that can help and, so, and be a, yeah. in addition to the yeah. um to the, the sip and speak mission mm-hmm like that's just one, one yes. lane because if that is because if you put all mm -hmm. your eggs in one basket for that exactly like, like you said what if when that doesn't do what it's supposed to yep what else how else what else are you is using it your, how yes. else are you using your purpose yep absolutely and that's that's what it boils down to so i'm really 
just being purposeful and impactful by this whole entire journey is purposeful and impactful, intentional. Um, and I'm still going after something that I said that I wanted when I was young. So how can I feel like a, you know, a failure? Um, opposed to when I first started doing this journey, I used to think like, man, this didn't do how I wanted to do. Like, damn, I failed at something, but I'm still succeeding because I'm growing. I'm growing through the whole thing. So that's never a loss for me, Pur you know, purposefully and purposeful, I guess, if that makes any kind of sense. And it's just like that. Yeah, just <laughs> like that. Ooh, gang, 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 gang. <laughs>